Hello everybody, welcome back to Roll. It's time for Fast Fridays, where I do the quick version of the game. Let's just see how we're doing over on the old leaderboards. 108th in Classic 100, 43rd in Quick Top 100. Not so bad. Let's see what we can do today. I probably could have hit try again, but I don't know that would have necessarily taken me to this screen. So 1,000 rolls, 5 starting dice. Let's see what we can do. Over to the shop. Do I want... What what tier... We're on second tier of shop. What do I want to get early? It's a great question. Shall we experiment with 11s? Because I've not done 11s before. Uh, 6, 9, 10, 11. We can do that somewhere else. And then I probably want to get off of this shop tier reasonably sharpish. Although there's another numeric 11. A plus 7 can go on a 4. And a plus 5 can go on a 6. So that's a numeric 11 everywhere. It's not going to be a super fast climb to 2,000 points. But I'm going to not make a giant early prime number this time and see how we do. Because you've got to experiment. You've got to see how these things change. So we're not doing clovers because that's for sevens, not elevens. Blank die, doubler reroller, face swap, weights, blank die generator. A 3x reroll is probably the only thing I'm really interested in here, but I'd rather get some of my faces scoring more highly. I can check Dicepedia here. This is at level 4 if I want to make more 11s. I think I probably just want to try and find some passives and also some multipliers for these faces for the 11s. Uh, 11 plus, 8 plus 3 is 11. Show me some face multipliers. There you go. So stick that on our main die. Now with these other numbers, because I've put multipliers on this one, if I set this die to all 11s later, it will lose the attached multipliers I've put on it. So let's manually make a bunch of 11s in the center. And then we don't have to worry about it as much later. Let's get that whole die re-rolling. And I'll put a 4x on one of those. Right, what other number would I need? Uh, a 6 and a 7. There's a 6. A four and a three is probably about as likely as a seven, isn't it? But I think really I just want to get up to the next tier of shop and find some passives. Anything to make these elevens worth a lot more, because we're already nearly halfway through our rolls, which is terrifying. Every die has its value increased by one. Additive effect. Additionally, each die has its value increased by one for every time it's been incremented. This is not an incremental run, but that'll be interesting for another day. I need to find something with primes or 
something more attached rerolls would be good, but it's not quite what I'm looking for. All right, a settled die faces would be great. It's very expensive. Let's take a 10x to start. Stick that on here. Then set all die faces. 11,000. Just feels like so much. Alright, that's good. Because all of our die is on this main... All of our scoring is on this main die. But I fear having not set up... a 97 on this die like I normally would in the early game has really crippled my general volume of scoring. Even numbers, square numbers, fewer than six dice isn't going to work for us. Fewer than ten dice is something. And nine die adjacency would be great once we've gained two more dice. To which end I'm going to stick some of these up here. Because I want those to be adjacent to everything. Or effectively adjacent to everything. Once we have nine dice. No generators bonus. Take another 10x for here. Previously a 3x. Right, we can probably need to upgrade the shop. Oh, 200 bonus for numbers divisible by 11. Love that for me. Okay, we finally got some, like, momentum going, which is nice. Let's take a void die. If we can afford it. 96,000. We can afford that. What number do you have on you? 13. So close to 11. I'm going to still stick a multiplier on that. Prime numbers plus 300% value. Get that rolling an extra time. 11's reroll. Even more. Love that for me. Let's get some of these other faces set to all 11s. Okay, we finally found some momentum. Feels very late for it, but we found some. Doubles, get 50% more. We already had enough for that. 10x adjacency multiplier, just keep spamming stuff onto there. If the total quantity of dice in play is less than 10, it is. No glue. I do not have any glue. All right, what can we do with our last quarter of our rolls? Probably not heaps, but I'm going to try. We have... I'm still looking for a 7 for that center die, aren't I? Increments, numerics only. Right, reroll everything in duplicate somewhere. Here, yeah, obviously. Let's get those rerolling. 5x adjacency bonus, that can go there as well. Fewer than 10 dice, 300% more. Stuff re-rolling in duplicate. Uh, that's a plus seven, not a number seven. That's what I need. Good. All right, that middle die is sorted. Then we have an 11 here. I don't want to increment. I will take triples. 
bullseye is great. 10x. Let's finish up this center die because that's where our real big scoring is. No weights bonus. Square number bonus. We'll both pay off in a minute. They can roll more. Happy about that. You're all 11s as well. More bonus for things with 11 in it, or divisible by 11 rather. Numbers less than 13 get bonus. Yes. Love that. Scavenger, I'll take it even though it's worth like a couple of extra rerolls in the grand scheme of things. Uh, doubles reroll more. There's another 11. I can swap one of those 11s off to the void die. Should have done that before I did a set all, but that's fine. Anything else I want? Nothing I'm seeing. Fewer than 30 dice bonus. Yes. Stuff to reroll more. Always. Do I want to do void dice on this? I'm gonna. Fine by me. Cheap refresh, take it. We can then set this to all 11s again. Uh, no rerolls, reroll is not gonna work out for us. Factor 50 is great. Make that reroll more. Alright, things are starting to get real expensive, and I still need to get one more die. I can't think of any really obvious passives that I want at this stage. I'll take numeric reroll chain though. I will take endless void. Don't want to increment stuff. Let's put more voids on here then. Odd adjacency reroller. Change that one there. Alright, let's upgrade the shop. Get our last die. Plus six can go on the five if we do want to make that another eleven. No 99s, get two additional rerolls on everything. Yes, please. No rerolls, no rerolls are not the things I need. Attach multipliers multiply the value of the dice they are attached to an additional time. Absolutely four rolls to afford that. Passive Hunter is a bit late for you, buddy. Although, passives are going to be most of what I'm buying. And it was like two rolls to get it, so I'll take it. Rebate Collector, Random Dice a bunch of multipliers on our faces because we can no weights 200% bonus yes no glue 200% bonus also yes another void again yes this is for runs where you have like one two three four five six appearing on different dice we are not ready for that yet I want that to be a 10x on the void die Six times reroll in triplicate. I actually want that here. We have not hit exponent scores or exponent shopping yet. We haven't seen Yahtzee bonuses for having five 11s. Place a die face with a previous reroll multiplier. This face is worth this die's previous roll result. The number of times this has 
die has been rolled. This face has no value if the previously rolled face was a previous roll, re-roll, or slow. I don't know if that's good. Purist. If across all rolled dice there are no attached modifiers, increase the value of all dice of 750%. Upon purchase, removes all attached modifiers on all dice. So we get rid of our re-rolls and our times tens. I think that's actually good for us. With nine dice. I'm doing it. 25 die adjacency is not it. We don't want to attach stuff anymore. Place a die face with a 10x total roll multiplier. This face is worth 10 times the value of all the other non-slow dice in the roll. Can I ever afford that? I can. It's very expensive. Where am I going to put it? Here? Does that work? I have no idea. Alright, I'm exclusively looking for really good passives now, I think. Yahtzee bonuses would be incredible. These are not the things I need. More incrementations. More passives would be great, but with 50 rolls left, I don't know if it's worth putting them there, you know? Stick more voids in the center. Can't do additive attached multipliers because we're now doing purity with no attached modifiers whatsoever. And something's going to have to be really good for me to buy it now. Yahtzee reroll would have been it, but right now it can't be. How many points can I generate in 31 rolls? Probably not many. Yeah, so I don't know if I really hang strung, ham, hamstringed, hamstrung myself by not building up a high scoring die at the very early game or just if I didn't get enough stuff to make 11s really powerful. But 10 billion points. Was this when I took purity? I wonder. But yeah, 1.5 to E17 has got nothing on this. But a good experiment nonetheless. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any ideas for things I should try during a quick run on Fast Fridays, let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, hit that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.